YouTube, we are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 104 of 113. So today we are going to do profile lookup challenge. Okay, so basically what this is uh, asking us to do is find, oh, let's actually read it. I don't know what this is actually asking us to do. This is not a concept. This is like a challenge to assess our skills that we've done. Um, we're going to do definitely use some of the skills that we've done in the last couple videos so um, I don't know just search the the name of whatever the concept is I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about and it should come up on my channel I've definitely covered all this that we're going to use uh, in previous videos so we have an array of objects representing different people in our context list here it is it is an array and these are in fact objects okay um, a lookup profile function takes a name and a property, prop, as arguments. The function should check if the name is in the contact's first name and the given property is a property of the contact. If both are true, return the value of that property. Okay, And then if the name does not correspond with any contacts, return the string no such contact. If the prop does not correspond to any valid properties in the contact name, uh, return the string no such property okay so no such contact if the person doesn't exist no such property if the property doesn't exist and then return the value of the property if the property so if they're looking for numbers return that in Harry and so forth so this should be pretty simple um, if you guys are stuck on this let me help you get through it right so we're we have the function it takes the name and the prop and we are going to search through the context list so we know we're going to use this context variable even though it's not passed in no problem so what we need to do is we need to iterate through each of the items in the context array so we can do that with a for loop so let's say for let i equal zero i is less than context dot hold on, if i can type length so we'll go through the length of the list and increment up so we can go through that, the whole list. And then what we need to do is check on each iteration of the loop uh, if the name being passed in is equal to the con the whichever contact we're on if their first name is equal to that name. Yeah, if the first name. Okay, so we can use a conditional check for this. Let's say if, let me open this up a little bit so you guys can see better. All right, so we can say if contacts, contacts, is it contact or contacts? Contacts, plural. Contacts at index i. So as we know, using uh, bracket notation is how we access data within an array or yeah, probably the, within an array. So we can say context i, so whichever one that is. So for example, if we're on, I don't know, let's just use this one. If we're on the last one, Christian, we can say if this one, we're grabbing the whole object at i dot first name, capital N, dot first name is equal to name and then open that up for if it is equal. Uh, if it is not, then we can go outside of this and just say return uh, no such contact. Okay, so that's straight away. If we don't find the name equal to that contact's first name and iterate through the whole list, uh, actually, this should probably go outside the for loop. So we'll move this down a line. X. Paste that there. So if the for loop goes through all the contacts and doesn't find any with that name, doesn't enter within this and basically hit another return statement, we got a code out. Um, exits the for loop, no such contact. It's going to return that and we should be good. Uh, if we do find the name, of someone, so say Kristen, and 
they're looking for, I don't know, Christian, and they're looking for the property, like, user ID, right? That's not, that doesn't exist. So we need to check to see if that exists. So we can now say within the if, if check, okay, we found the name, if contact I, because we know that's who, who we're on that has the name that we, we matched. And we can say dot has own property. And that's a built-in method that we can use and takes the argument of whatever we're searching for. So we can pass in prop and this is a truthy, falsy statement. So this will basically, is whatever the result of this is, so if they have that property, it'll. this is basically true. All of this can basically be replaced with the word true, the Boolean, and it will enter this if statement. If they do not have that property, it will return false. This will say if false, false will not execute whatever is in this code block, and that will exit us out. Uh, so if, if they, if it does say true, it'll enter this true enters this code block. And then if it's, if it is not true, then we can simply say return no such property. Because that means we found someone with the right name, but they don't have the property we need. So this no such contact had to go outside the for loop because just because the first person we check doesn't have a matching name doesn't mean there's no such contact. We need to loop through all of them. If we find someone with the right name, but not the property, that means we found the right person. They just don't have that property. So then we can return that. So now we can do this logic here. So if they have that property, if this is true, they'll have the property and we want to return that property's value. Okay. So then we can say return contact I. So whoever that contact is and then prop. So whatever the property is, this will return the value of that. So if the property was, uh, in this example here, if the property was last name, it'll find Christian. Yes, the first name is equal to name. Does she have a property last name? True. So it will return that person that property. So it'll return Voss. Okay. So I have done some other videos on has own property. So I would search my channel for those if that didn't make sense. But that was really the key of what we had to do here is that has own property uh, check. So if we check this code, oh, it does not like it. Let's see what we're missing. Hmm. Ah, it's plural, contacts. There we go. That's all it needed. Okay. So make sure you have your S on those contacts. Um, but yeah, that's all it needed. Hope this helped. Hope it made sense. And I hope to see you guys in the next challenge.